Plants part 2. First, let's discuss about stems. The main function of the stem is bearing the parts of the plants. Stems are adapted to do many functions such as producing new plants. Some produce new plants by runners. Example, go to color and some produce new plants by suckers. Example, banana. The next adaptation is store food in aerial stems. Example, kitul. The next adaptation is underground stems which store food. Example, turmeric, ginger, onion, etc. Some stems are green. They are photosynthetic stems. For example, cactus. Some plants fix to a support to climb up and absorb sunlight efficiently. Example, vanivel and beans. Roots. The main function of a root is fix the plant to the soil and absorb water and minerals. The roots which arise from other parts of the plants are known as adventurous roots. Some roots are adapted to fulfill many functions. They are tuberous roots, top roots, stilt root, climbing root, aerial roots, respiratory roots and propagative roots. Tuberous roots the roots that are swollen due to storage of food are known as tuberous roots. Carrot, radish and beet are some of the examples for storage of food in taproot. Manioc, sweet potato are some examples for storage of food in adventitious roots. Top roots The adventitious roots that arise from branches, they penetrate the soil and helps to support the branches. Example, banyan. Still fruit. The adventitious roots that arise from the stem grow below the ground and support the stem. For example, rampe. Climbing roots. The roots that help the climbing stems or creepers to fix to the support. For example, beetle. Aerial roots. These roots absorb moisture from the atmosphere and supply the plant. For example, orchid. Respiratory roots. These roots absorb air from the atmosphere and supply it to the plant. For example, Mahakadol. Propagative roots. These roots produce new plants. Example, Guava. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe for more videos.